It's showtime, it says on the screen. Hey, welcome to Sunday Night Live, Tony Random Ventures 2.0. What are we doing and where are we at? Well, we're in the studio again, and what are we doing? Well, we're having our Sunday Night Live, and I already see everybody in there talking. Oh, this is going to be great. Uh, so we got a lot to talk about. It's been a busy week and a busy weekend. So uh, let me scroll back up because you guys are commenting, 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 and I'm watching it all go by. Uh, so. Hey, Rick Thomas, how are you doing? Uh, 731, you were in there waiting. <laughs> so uh, we got Skeeter in the house. Hey, Tony and everyone. Uh, there's I Do Adventures. Hey, that's James uh, down at um, the North Carolina Hammock Hangers. And if you see, uh, well, I'm not going to say, but I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> so welcome, welcome. Uh, I know you missed the live last time, but don't worry about it, buddy. <laughs> I'm glad you're here tonight. There's KN. Hey, KN. <laughs> and KN's been working uh, on uh, our Discord. And um, Stitch and I were talking, KN, about a way that we can get the uh, Discord out there because I was talking to a couple people this weekend and I mentioned about Discord when I was down there at Maha and they were like, really? You got Discord? You got, and I said, well, pretty much, <laughs> but I don't know how it works totally. <laughs> but uh, so uh, just uh, FYI, anybody um, uh, that is interested in Discord, being part of the Discord 2.0 family, um, and it's a great way to communicate and things like that. And I know most of our younger uh, participation, they're very familiar with it, um, but it's got a lot of opportunities for the community and uh, is going to be a way to do it, um, that we're going to get the, the link out to everyone that wants to be a part of that. And if you don't know what Discord is, check it out, look it up on um, YouTube. <laughs> so you can look it up on YouTube and there's a simple discord to understand it, but it's got a ton of information in there. KN's been keeping up with it and she put our latest video up there uh, that we had on Thursday night, I think. <laughs> so, uh, but there's a, a lot I haven't, because I've been away <laughs> doing stuff. I haven't had a chance to look at it. Oh, the comments are flying over there. So I got two screens of comments open. I got the one on YouTube and I got the one over here. Uh, but thanks a lot, KN, for all you're doing. Hey, Adventures with uh, SO. G, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, uh, A up and good morning. That's right. That you're you're over across the pond. Good morning to you. And uh, we got, let's see, Steve Travis. Hey, how are you doing, Steve? Uh, there's Terry uh, May. Uh, hi, Tony and everyone. Yes, hi Terry. Uh, welcome, welcome. And there's Stitch. Had to do a lot of at so and so saying hi to everyone. <laughs> Howdy. Not hi. But howdy, right? Uh, welcome, welcome, Stitch. And I wanted to call you. I was just so tired <coughs> and busy, you know, with Maha. And um, that was a great event. The video is already up, uh, but it's not able to be viewed yet. We're going to do that one on Thursday night. But you can go over there now to the channel and click on the link. Uh, and I've already put the link up on the um, Maha Facebook page, which Maha. M-A-H-H-A -H -H -A is MAHA, which is, stands for Mid-Atlantic Hammock Hangers Association. Long name. They did it as a joke originally. Uh, they just made a real long name uh, with it and uh, ended up, <laughs> it stuck. Uh, so they just kept the Mid-Atlantic um, uh, Hammock Hangers Association. <laughs> All right. So great time. Great, 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 great time. And uh, yes, uh, let's see. Uh, we got uh, going down. Hey, let Leonard. Oh, I sorry, I slapped the mic. <laughs> uh, hey, Leonard, how you doing? Uh, good evening. Hey, there's uh, Gunner Ray. All righty, all righty. Welcome in the house. And there's Elric, the Blackheart. How are you doing, brother? I uh, hope doing great. Oh, uh, and um, I didn't get a chance uh, to message Darlene back. Um, I saw her message a little bit before we went on to live. Um, she's, um, uh, not feeling good, so she's not going to be on tonight, but she might surprise us and s stop in, but, um, pray for Darlene. Um, definitely Darlene. Good. Alrighty. So there, Hey, <laughs> baby and me, tiny house on wheels, brother. How are you doing? Yeah. 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 Uh, Tommy foolery. How are you doing? Howdy. Howdy. Uh, there's uh, Landon Martin, Joseph Kelly. Hi guys. 
Hey, Tim, how are you doing, brother? From Florida. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there's uh, who's ready for some summer camping? Me. <laughs> yeah, we got like, um, oh, it was windy, but we had great weather uh, this weekend. When I say great, it was good camping weather, um, not too hot, but it was uh, chilly, chilly, just chilly in the evening. Uh, it was down to 37, I believe. Uh, but with the wind, it was like 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. And then yesterday and then throughout the evening, uh, 20 mile sustained winds. Uh, so the feels like uh, was much more. But my tarp did great. I set it up a little different. And you'll see that. In I didn't do porch mode. I went lower to the ground and stuff. Uh, but it looks good. And it, it held up real good, too. And I took the... Uh, um, uh, the one wind. So the setup that you saw on the last video that we did on Thursday night. Oh, and by the way, thanks a lot for watching that. That's doing real good. I think it's got 5,300 5, views since Thursday night at seven o'clock. So I appreciate all your views and um, I hope you enjoyed that one. That one was a lot of fun right next to the hot, to that main road. And it, Vehicles, like I said, every uh, tractor trailer uh, from the area, I think, went by at least twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I, was, I always joke around like, how do you expect to get a good night's sleep <laughs> when you're sleeping next to the highway <laughs> or main road like that? But it wasn't bad. I, I loved that camp. Yes, I did. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, let's see. Hey, Shadow, how are you doing? Uh, there's uh, Rick. How are you doing, brother? Uh, what's up, uh, Tony? Love the new video. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I liked that one too. That was that was a lot of fun. And the thing was, is that I didn't know where I was going to set up camp until I got there. <laughs> so I was just walking out along and uh, filming the intro as I was going there. And um, then I, when I got to that spot, I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is, I think I can make this one work. It was close to the road. But that's what you want when you're stealth camping, right? You got to have that element in there. Uh, but I probably will find a place a little bit further back, uh, a little bit later in the year, um, you know, just for some dispersed camping. I I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of opportunities back there uh, at that, that spot. So finding some still, some great locations. Yes, I am. Uh, let's see. Hey, Gregory Hess. How are you doing, brother? Good evening, Tony says. Hey, Robert Bell. How are you doing, Robert Bell? I forgot I can be clicking these up there. Hey, Rick. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Rick and then Gregory and Robert Bell. <laughs> hey, Lower Michigan Adventures. Um, hey, that uh, you did a wind, uh, high wind camp the other night, too. Yeah, you did. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of wind. Yeah, we have a PTL Fabrications. Hello. Uh, <laughs> and all the two point live chatters. Yes. And uh, oh, and there's Stitch saying hi to everybody. Man, Stitch, you're really typing away. <laughs> yes, you are. Hey, there's Mario Andretti's or Andretti's. <laughs> Mar oh, that's a race car driver. Andretti. Arantes, I think. Arantes, I think I said it right. But Mario, I got that part. Uh, good evening. How are you doing? Uh, all right. And then we got Ozark. Ozark's Great Adventures. Howdy from South Southern Missouri. Oh, cool. Welcome, welcome from Missouri. Yes. And uh, let's see. I'm scrolling down AJR's life. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, lower your having live lower oh oh okay lower michigan's having live later question mark uh ozark friends good evening my friend let's see randy how are you doing randy all right i think it will be a great way uh for everyone to connect so uh kn's talking about discord um i think it will be a great way to for everyone to connect uh find each other and support each other in an interactive uh forum type way uh tom Marie, Tom B. Foolery, she's answering that. Uh, I guess he had asked a question about it. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> Way up here. Uh, 
Discord is such a great app for community engagement. Can't recommend it enough. Yeah, and the person that I was talking to this weekend, when I mentioned it, they got you know all excited about it and said, "Man, I go on on that all the time and um, get a chance to like communicate with other people and um, even uh, you know give it um, some uh, like." Uh, tips and things like that and even talk to the I guess it's with some music artists and going on there in discord and actually getting act, actually able to talk to the to the audience and uh, go into a little group and you can uh, like I could be in there too and uh, we could you know all of us could be hanging out in there and I could be talking and stuff and then someone can raise their hand and then they would talk and ask a question vocally. And we would just interact back and forth on that. It sounds like it'd be a great way for the community. Absolutely. Uh, so if you guys know about it, that's super, super, super. Hey, uh, Jake, how are you doing? Uh, made it. Um, hope you have a great night live chat. Yes. Uh, well, it's going to be great because you're part of it. <laughs> right? All right. Uh, how, how do you? Oh, let's see. Okay. Hey, Tony, outside with Burner. <laughs> all righty, all righty. Yes, how are you doing? Uh, oh, wait, outside with Burner. Am I thinking that that's who that is? Uh, Burner, outside. Oh, yes, <laughs> Alicia from Maha. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, perfect. Yeah, because you also go by uh, a trail name, um, and you guys are going to see that on the video. Yes. Well, welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Awesome. Hope you made it home. Okay. Uh, yes. And I read that outside with burner. I was thinking, um, uh, that being, um, you know, that you were outside <laughs> cooking something with a burner. Oh, that's so awesome. But the lookout hostel, it's a great hostel on the AT. And, uh, so, uh, Hey Tony, nice seeing uh, you this weekend. And I'm looking forward uh, to getting out there and, um, um, you know, uh, I was told uh, by Lookout Hostel that um, the um, hikers are starting to come through. Um, so it's it's a great little hostel. I stopped there, um, oh, a couple of years, years ago. Um, and, uh, you know, I found it. Uh, you know, I knew it was out there, but I wasn't sure where it's at. And um, 309 coming up over the one... Um, uh, mountain there of uh, 309 and um, it's just right there on the side and it's so cool and I got a chance to go back when Jay wanders out came through and uh, him and um, oh he was hiking with uh, another guy uh, that we were doing a little bit of support and uh, stuff with and uh, but great little hostel and uh, I'm fine and this is like two year two years ago or so maybe two and a half years ago, uh, we had spoke uh, in the comments and stuff uh, on, and I said, oh man, we I wanted to get back out there and uh, let you know when I was coming. And it's so incredible that we finally got a chance to meet two and a half years later. Uh, it was great and uh, got to meet uh, uh, Rock Hopper and uh, log jumper you know those are all trail names and uh, log jumper just got her trail name yes uh hey uh, anthony how are you doing brother uh, why not yeah yeah uh yeah uh, let's see uh let, and then we got lower michigan adventures it says um am out in hot tent tonight oh cool yeah i guess it's still cold up there in michigan yeah. Hey, Joseph Stricker, how are you doing? Uh, I want to throw Anthony up here. All righty. Uh, outside uh, with Burner says, I was cold and that wind sucked. Yeah. That wind was steady, 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 steady wind. Yeah. And I just, you know, with it's a beautiful location. Like I said, I had gone down earlier um, in the week uh, and I made that little, um, little short that said, and um, I can't remember who it was, but they said, thanks for making that short and putting it up on the, the Maha site because they weren't sure what it was going to look like there where we were camping. Uh, so um, if you remember uh, last live, I showed you all the map of the location because I went down there and met Denny, the owner. Uh, and that location has been there for 40 years, uh, which is Ambush, uh, the, the paintball place. 
And Maha actually outgrew their last location, and I believe uh, maybe the one before that. But uh, in the video, you'll see that I'm walking all around. I did a lot of walking and a lot more than I do for a normal video. So my legs were beat, my hips were beat, um, but it was good. It was good for me to do that. Uh, but yeah, uh, so being down there um, and filming, uh, I even say in the video, man, it's going to take a long time to outgrow this place. Um, I think we had, oh, there it's just a lot of trees. And he did a lot of work. Big shout out to them. They did a lot of work, Ambush did, on clearing uh, trees for the for like two weeks, cutting down dead trees and stuff. We had a nice community fire. Oh, it was great. It really, really was awesome. <laughs> Oh, I've got the hiccups now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, old and cracking it, someone scare me, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. All righty. Good evening, folks. I uh, had to feed uh, had to feed the dogs and pet socks before coming on. Well, welcome, welcome. Glad you got on. Hey, there's pork roll, brother. We just saw one another. Awesome. So pork roll, I met him, and you'll see that in the video. A hang con video from florida i got a chance to meet pork roll down there and why not tony why not and he gave me a jar of his honey he's got his own honeybees yeah he does and uh, i just showed uh miss 2.0 the little honey because this is uh from his hive from his beehive and he had um they had an um the raffle down there and and he actually donated some uh, honey to that. He infused it, one with garlic, one with cinnamon, uh, and one with something else. I don't remember what that was, um, but I didn't win anything in a raffle. <laughs> but I got honey because he gave me some honey. Uh, yes, and that is, ah, oh, man. It, and uh, I had a little taste of it. It's really good. Miss 2.0 is going to love it. I already showed her, but I said, you can't have it any yet because I'm taking it upstairs. <laughs> to the studio and uh, it'll be here for because that video is going to come out thursday and that's the one we're we're really going to dig in deep uh to that and i'm going to answer all the questions on that uh next sunday for that video however i might answer some questions tonight too and talk a little bit about it as well all right but pork roll great seeing you again brother hope you made it home safe uh yeah uh but yeah so um he came over from New Jersey. Um, so that's, and we, like I said, we went a thousand miles away from home <laughs> to meet in Florida. Uh, but I cannot talk enough about hammock hangers um, and events like that. And I do, when I talk to a Dutch, um, who's Dutch wear, um, when I talked to him, he was um, talking about an interactive calendar that he has on their website, uh, dutchware.com. Uh, it's an interactive um, calendar that he, because there's events every month, multiple events every month. <laughs> and he has, an, and if somebody's having a hammock hang, uh, they can put it on that interactive calendar and then people will be able to go from there, find more out about it, and then go to wherever that hammock uh, forum or, or um, information is from his calendar. So he's like bringing them all together, kind of like um, forums, uh, but he has that interactive uh, calendar on his site. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to get too far behind <laughs> yet. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Shadow is uh, saying that I can explain the, the name change if you want. Okay, so Shadow is um, was had a name change, so that's Jeff Cooper. <laughs> so uh, he ch had to change his name, uh, but Shadow is because of his son Nathan, who um, who. 
I don't know if I can share this much if you give me permission to do that. Uh, but if you watched our video when uh, him and I were hanging out, I dedicated it to his son because his son was like his shadow um, and is no longer with us. Uh, Nathan, so he changed the name to Shadow. So that's Jeff Cooper. Everybody say hi to Jeff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All righty. So Terry May, Terry May says, my um, son Tanner and I, I, I has a great time talking with you. Yes, sir, I know. And Terry came. I was uh, Saturday. I was walking over to the car because uh, you parked in a parking area. And I was coming out because I wanted to do a, just a little bit of uh, things at the car. I had to charge my phone up, even though I had a big power bank. But I needed to go to the car for something. And uh, I thought, well, I'll go somewhere where it's quiet and then uh, do that. But uh and Terry's uh, Terry's son Tanner uh, said to Terry because they were in the parking lot, and I was still in the compound. <laughs> when I say compound, you'll know what I'm talking about. I was still in the compound, just coming out of the one exit, and uh, I hear Tony 2.0, Tony 2.0, and I look up, and it's Terry. She had driven over there, uh, just came for the day, and one of the uh, neat things that she had said to me, she goes do do women go to these things and i said absolutely uh, you know a hammock hang is for the community to come together and if you've never hammock tanged be hunt, hammock hung before and a group it's a great place to come together to learn and you don't have to spend the night even if you don't have a hammock or a tent and you just want to come on the on the say like a saturday on a hammock event and you have questions, you want to lay in somebody's hammock, you know, it's, they'll be more than happy to show you how to do it and things like that. It's a great place to learn. And I encourage Terry uh, to get that hammock and um, uh, to go in and talk to some of the uh, people that were there. And everybody was, she said, helpful. And they even had a, um, a yard sale items uh, that you could go in and check things out. And I know she went back in to check that out, her and her son, but they walked all around. And uh, it's it's going to be great. Hopefully, you'll get to experience one. And that's only like seven miles from our house, which is amazing. All right. Hey, Tom, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. I, yeah, I showed them the drone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, and showed them a little preview of what I had already edited and stuff, and uh, so they got to see a preview, so they know what's coming. And uh, yeah, I was showing a couple people uh, the video uh, where I was at because, as y'all know, I kind of because I edit on my phone and I record on my phone. I, if I get a little break, I can do some editing, and I try to stay up with it. And then, um, I don't know if Gabriella's on here, but I had mentioned to her about how I do storage. So I always have this. This is a critical. And if you go on to my uh, Amazon storefront and go into say like um, electronics, I have all the electronics that I use in there. If you go in the lighting section, you'll see lighting that I use, but this is a little two terabyte card with a, a USB-C right there and i just plug that into the back of my phone go into my files and i can pull off um, once i save render what i'm doing uh, then i can save all of that as a completed video up to that point then i don't have to worry about messing anything up um, and it just saves as a brand new video and then i just record new and then when i get a break i do this again get it off my phone and then i'm always working with a finished product up to that point. So that's how I can um, pretty much be done uh, within an hour after I do a camp, hour or two, and then I can just start uploading to YouTube and then do all the rest of the stuff that I do. Uh, a lot of uh, squirrel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but great meeting you, Terry. It really, really was. Terry and Tanner. Uh, hey, Tom, how are you doing? Hey, Tony, I just got back from uh, a one night camp out in uh, Green Ridge State Forest, Maryland. Oh, awesome. I hope you had a great time. Uh, that wind, uh, I don't know if you had the wind that we had, but we had quite a bit. Oh, I see that. <laughs> I have a secret spot to show you. That sounds awesome because I need a couple secret spots because I want, I'm looking for a spot where I can go just to do some, um, 
reviews, like I've got a review to do right now on a car uh, canopy that comes off of the back of an SUV or a truck or something like that. Um, I want to go somewhere where I can set up that I have a little bit of room um, that I'm not going to get bothered because if I go to a, a park or something like that to set it up, I, I know there's a farmer, I could probably do his field, but I know right now he's going to be plowing and, and planting. So I might not be able to do that. And that's where I did the corn field. Uh, I, I'm, I can probably get back in there, but I, 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 I want to find a spot that's got like some like a little hidden that I could maybe get the car into and uh, you know I was thinking maybe I could even uh, hmm you know it's got a good view <laughs> like the lookout <laughs> where you can see way out and beautiful view and what was really cool about that when I'm walking around just videoing on Friday after I got all set up there were still people coming in and things like that but mostly people don't hang out at their hammock. Uh, they go to like the community area and they had already started a fire and they were all up there. So I walked around just to show different things. And I came across the lookout um, tarp that had a picture of the overview. And I went, huh, look out, the lookout. I wonder if that's the hostel. And then later on, I, I, I met yard sale. And uh, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, let's see. And then I found out that that was that 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 now that was a printed, um, you know, um, custom made tarp. And I believe that was from uh, Dutchware. Dutch made that, I believe. Um, I don't remember if I asked or not, but I think it was because there's there were some really neat um, graphic style. Um, in fact, um, I met John. Uh, John um, had a beautiful tarp. In fact, the thumbnail and that setup on that thumbnail for next uh, for next Thursday's video, Maha video, that's going to be uh, John's setup. That's the thumbnail. And I actually interview and talk to him just a little bit. I think I really captured uh, I, I really think I, because this is my third one, even though it was a different venue, I think we really captured a lot of neat stuff uh, with this one uh, because there's paintball, there's airsoft that they did. And I was a little hesitant about it, but I'll tell you what, it really turned out cool. It was really cool. And Denny gave me a, a face mask and a, uh, well, you'll see that on the video. And he gave me a, a vest to wear that was uh, yellow and I go was able to go out into the field just to film uh, them playing. <laughs> so <laughs> a little friendly fire too. <laughs> but I'll talk about that yeah, on that next weekend. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Hey, hey Gabba, how are you doing? Hi from Georgia. Yes. Uh, it was uh, nice to meet you at Ma. Yes. It was really great burner and, uh, I just had, it was a great time. And because it was my third one and I, um, I was able to, I wasn't, I was focused on filming, uh, but I was also focused on engaging more. Um, so, I, and not worried as much if I had to catch every little aspect, I thought I would be able to, I don't know, it all worked out. It was working out really good. Oh, I'm, Oh, I'm getting behind. Uh, yeah, I am. All right. Hey, Sean, how are you doing? Oh, I like your thumbnail uh, from Arkansas. Looks like a Yeti on there. Bigfoot. Yep. I hear about Discord. Uh, it's free. Yes, uh, it's free. Discord is free. Um, Eileen, 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 I think. Uh, happy Sunday to you, too. my stuff over there hey eva how are you doing eva oh i'm hiccuping uh, uh no all the way from canada so our neighbors to the north uh hope everyone had a good weekend yeah yeah i had a great weekend uh hike with mike howdy folks uh, or hey folks i'm saying howdy because it says howdy got me saying howdy <laughs> uh let's see uh, let's see. Swamps of Florida. So, okay. Yeah. Hello from the swamps of Florida. So I filmed, 
uh, at a junkyard, West Virginia. Oh, cool. Uh, we used uh, permethrin uh, and still had a permethrin. Oh, really? Of a plethora of ticks. Um, are they bad for you? Okay, so I did make a post because when I was coming back from um, Maha, when I ran down to make that quick short, I wanted to get eyes on the location. So glad I, I did because I got a chance to have a one-on-one -on -one with Denny. Uh, but on my way home, I thought, well, I got to go through um, this one area. And I used to gold pan uh, at this one spot. And I thought, oh, I can remember I did a mushroom video because the the creek was way too high to gold pan. So uh, this is in the early days, um, two and a half years ago, before my stroke. Um, I'd done a video of uh, of mushrooms and I walked out through this one spot and I found some camping spots. Now, I can't walk along the creek with the stroke yet. I tried and I was just too unstable. So I went back up and come around a different way. Uh, but. I walked back and I found a really great spot to hang the hammock. And then I went, hmm, I think I'll get out of here because it was going to be getting dark soon. And I went back to the car and I looked down uh, after I started the car and I saw a little speck on my uh, pants. And I was like, oh, what's that speck? I thought it was just like a deteriorated leaf or something like because it was wet and little. Uh, it, it was during that warm spell. Um, warmer <laughs> than it's been. <laughs> uh, and I looked down, I was like, wait a minute, that's got legs. I think I had to get my phone out, put it on zoom, I think three times zoom and then get it on there. And I was like, yep, yeah, that's a tick. I, so I picked it off my pants, uh, took it, opened the car door, uh, threw it out of the car door and then went to go I was like that. And I went to go back up and I just looked down again, just check again. And I saw another one crawling and they were small, real small. So it must have been a nest uh, because I got out of the car to get that one off. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to look around my pants. And sure enough, I picked off 18 ticks. Uh, and then, you know, how even when you find one, you're like, oh, you feel things crawling on you. Well, I made it all the way home. Uh, but while I was driving home, because you can't check your back, you know, crawling up your back or anything like that. And um, I felt something crawling on my neck because my neck's sensitive. So I quick went into the kitchen where Miss 2.0 was cooking. And I turned around. And I said, is there a tick on my neck? And uh, she looked and, and she got the light up from her phone out. And she goes, yeah, you got a tick on you. Stay still. And uh, she got it off. And then we got rid of it. Uh, but that was number 19. Um, so she's like, you didn't bring it up in the house, did you? <laughs> I said, I think I got them all off, but that's the only one I felt crawling on me. Uh, so when I was down in Hancon, one of the donations was from Sawyer, uh, was the permethrin, uh, all these spray bottles. So I hadn't used it yet, but after I did that, I washed my clothes. And I think I mentioned this on Sunday Night Live last week. So the clothes were wa washed. Um, so I hung them and I sprayed. Um, I should have done it, done more of my pants, but I figured I'd just go from my thigh down um, for now. And I did five, four pairs of pants because I have two gray and two green um, that I wear for the videos uh, because I like to keep, you know, that outfit, the outfits the same on my videos. Just you wonder why, why aren't he ever changed his clothes? I got more, <laughs> right? uh, but um, I like these pants because the uh, leg zips off, the pant leg zips off. They turn into shorts, even though I don't use the shorts, but that flap, flap where that zipper is, see that, um, that I remember um, Jay Wanders Out was telling me one time that he had treated his clothes with permethrin and he noticed a tick on his uh, pant leg. And uh, and when he got back to his car, it was, I forget where he was at, um, just went for a real sh short uh, hike. And um, this was a couple of years ago, but that flap, um, he lifted the flap up where that zipper is. And he had, they were all lined up under the zipper flap, uh, but they were all dead because the permethrin that he treated his pants with. Now he used... Um, who was it? Uh, I think John was telling me that uh, he got his permethrin from Tractor Supply. Um, he, 
oh no it wasn't john it was somebody else uh told me uh rodney <laughs> he treats his gear but he gets uh, the concentrate and gets a tub of water and stuff and soaks his gear and uh and his clothes and that and then hangs them up and lets them dry um so i am going to get the um that that uh concentrate and actually submerse the clothes in it uh and i know a lot of through hikers uh, do that and i remember uh jay had to retreat his stuff one time and in one of the videos he had did a zero and treated his um, stuff, retreated it in the uh, bathtub <laughs> at the hotel that he stayed at. Yeah, so uh, retreated as close because I think this permethrin says within it's good for five washes, uh, then you should retreat again. But yes, <laughs> long answer. Yeah, it, the ticks are bad, but it's supposed to get down to 27 degrees on Wednesday. So I'm hoping with that warm weather that we had that we get a freeze. Uh, and that will kill a lot of the ticks. If not, it's going to be a bad year. I don't know if everywhere, but I know it's it's it, 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 it's going to be bad. Uh, you know, all the years that I've been going out uh, for the last couple of years, that was the first time I've ever found a tick on me. So I've never treated my clothes. Uh, but after that, I'm like, I better better treat my clothes. Yep. Hey, especially since like we got all the free permethrin down there at the hang con that was donated uh, down there um, and truckload of it too, a lot of boxes and they still had a lot of boxes when everybody left. Uh, but hey, Jerry, how are you doing? Uh, great to see you again. Look forward as always. Awesome, awesome, brother. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yard sale is Burner's trail name. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. No wonder why my phone says that. Uh, purchased. I don't know what that about that. Okay. Yeah, oh, I think that's talking about Discord. I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Oh, I hope I'm not missing anybody. Hey, there's our brother, Alpine Warrior in the house, uh, saying hi to Stitch, Miss Stitch. Hey, hi, Miss Stitch <laughs> and Rough. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, Susan. Good evening, everyone. Uh, reasonably okay. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Animated. Uh, yeah, there you go. All right. Great to see y'all talking about it and answering questions. Yeah. Uh, Laura Michigan says 40 overnight, 32 last night. Tony. Oh, 32. Yeah. Hey, Lou. How are you doing, Lou? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got Adam in the house. Howdy, Tony. Let's see. Hey, hey, there's my brother, Dave. Dave and Katie, RNRV Chronicles out in Arizona. Yeah, I bet you it's hot out there right now. <laughs> Wish I was in Arizona. Oh, before I forget. Mm -hmm. um, squirrel. <laughs> uh, so I got mail. Uh, and this is the mail that I got. I picked it up and then I talked to James because James, when I was down at the... Um, uh, Woolly Swamp um, hammock hang down there, the North Carolina hammock hangers. Um, I had left and missed James, but he'd asked me for the size of my T-shirt. So he mailed me my T-shirt. I got it the other day. I said I was going to open it uh, but during the live, but I decided that I was going to get it out and put it on the hanger so I can hang it uh, out there. But this is the back of the shirt. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Just hanging out with friends. <laughs> there you go. So that's the North Carolina hammock hangers. And that was their first ever hammock hang in um, uh, Woolly Swamp. I'll get this back up here and I'm looking forward to wearing that. But I didn't want to wear it until, until I showed you guys. But that's the North Carolina hammock hangers. And I love that. I love a compass. Uh, it's got a compass. I was actually, uh, that's, <laughs> that is so close to what I was actually thinking about doing for my thing but i i couldn't when i designed this i couldn't uh, think of the compass the hat Ooh. <laughs> so i was told by a couple people man i love your hat <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh because I, I got the other chat over here that's just flowing i see it, alpine warrior and stitch going squirrel <laughs> yeah <laughs> i wish i would have seen that squirrel when the three of us were hanging together up there and um 
uh, the Anirondacks, that squir squirrel that uh, Stitch said was yelling, <laughs> yelling at me. Oh, speaking of squirrel. <laughs> so um, on that Thursday night's video, we finally got something on our game cam. <laughs> so wasn't that cool? We got that raccoon on there. Now, uh, a couple of people asked me uh, what game cam is that? And that's from uh, Mary and Johnny D. Torres. And that is the, um, I think it's called the, uh, I'm going to say me, me days, me days, P200. Uh, so this is the box here that it came in. Uh, so, so awesome that we finally got it. And uh, what I did, um, I know I'm getting into a lot of how I do things, but uh, when I said it was the first time I ever had to pull something off of there, um, so I got my little bag here that I keep my electronics in. Uh, but in here, um, it comes with a cord. Uh, I got another cord there. All right. So it comes with a cord with this funky end on it. All right. So it's not a C and it's not the others. Uh, but I have to figure out how to get this plugged into my phone on the other end. So it's got a USB, regular USB on the other side. All right. So this is how I can pull stuff off of it in the field and get it in the video right away. Um, so what I did is and these are on i think the amazon storefront as well so i've got a female usb to a c all right so i can plug it right into my phone so i just do this <laughs> watch me get cross-eyed looking at this I'm trying to do it. <laughs> so i just plug those two into one another then this end goes into my phone this end goes into the game cam i turn the game cam on and <laughs> i i just go in move it right over and then when i go into my power director app and open it back up it when i click on camera to get all the footage off to drop it in to edit it's separated out it says um game cam <laughs> because i labeled the file game cam uh oh i don't want to lay that down over there uh because i want to put everything back in my bag because i don't want to lose it <laughs> yeah Oh, and a big shout out to um, uh, Jason down at HangCon. So because I was interviewing people, I have uh, the DJI mics that came from Emma Brown, who sent us the DJI mics. And that's why you hear me so well. And then when I interview someone, it's got that got the second mic right there well on friday i was walking around talking to people and a couple times the stitch remembers this uh, I, sometimes i forget to take the microphone back when i'm done because i'm like okay thanks a lot and, and uh all right well i'm gonna keep moving on and we walk away say bye to one another and <laughs> there goes my one microphone but i got real good at saying oh let me get the microphone back and uh what I did is I was clipping it on my pocket. Um, and when I wasn't using it, I turned off and clipping them on my pocket. I came around the castle. You're going to see what the castle is in the video. Uh, but I came around the castle and then I was talking to um, homeless Santa. All right. So uh, met him uh, before as well uh, down at Hancon. Uh, so homeless Santa and I were talking and catching up on things and it must have popped off of my pocket and fell and later on in the evening i went to talk to someone and i went oh no 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 i didn't need it again um and i went to go put it back in here and get it back you know just in the case and i pulled um went to go reach for the top of my pocket and it wasn't there so i spent two hours that night with my oh it's not in here with my um night xo and that's the the little light that i showed you guys on uh, the last video at night i turned it on to three different levels bright light i had that on but i didn't want to disturb anybody because i didn't want to use my headlamp to look look on the ground so i held the light 
down close to my feet and I'm walking all around, retracing all my steps from when I knew I last had it, which was in the castle. Uh, and then came around and walked and uh, that's how I met John. He goes, Hey, you looking for something? And I like, yeah, my DJI microphone. And I showed him what it looked like. And there was multiple people throughout the evening um, that were looking for it saying, I'll keep an eye out for you. And uh, it rained uh, about one o'clock in the morning. Uh, it started raining and I was just feeling so sick about not not uh having that microphone and losing it uh and here um i had, when i was retracing my steps i ran into jason um and told him about it and he said he'd keep an eye out for it but i had there was maybe oh 10 people or so that knew about it and were all keeping an eye out for it and in the afternoon on saturday uh there was a little bit of a break before they did something, um, before the airsoft and paintball. And I was sitting in uh, my hammock just editing. And um, I hear, hey, uh, I think I found your mic. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and I came out and he says, is this what it looks like? Is this it? And my eyes got huge. And he says, it was out in the rain all night. You better check it. And I was, I turned it on. It worked. And I, it had a little mud on it. And I said, where did you find it? He said, I found it in front of the castle. And I know multiple people had looked because I said um, that I, I that was one of the places that I stopped to talk to, with Homeless Santa. And uh, I had looked there maybe three times uh, in that area that night. Um, and I know multiple people. Uh, Burner was looking for it. And, um, you know, Pork Roll was looking for it. Uh, uh, you know, even Dutch had uh, known about it and was looking for it, but there was multiple people looking for it. And I said, at one point I said, you know, I'm not going to find it. I can't find it. I, I can't. I so Lord, you're going to have to find it. Just please. Uh, I just give it to you. And if it happens, it happens. Uh, but I'll know. Uh, and I'll give you all the honor, praise and glory for it. And uh, sure enough, Jason came up. and I was like, oh, praise the Lord. That's it. And it worked. And it was good. It was good. Yeah, it was. So it's in here. And so I'm not going to clip it to my pocket no more. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my, so awesome, 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 awesome. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm going to sc scroll down, scroll down. Uh, big thanks, Denny. Yes, big thanks to Denny. Uh, great location. Ah, it's amazing. It, uh, it, it really is. So if you're thinking about it, uh, they sh I believe they're going to have one in the fall as well. Um, because they usually do a spring and a fall. So fall, all those trees that didn't have leaves on them yet are all going to be leafed out in different colors and things like that. Uh, so if you get a chance, start planning now uh, for it and try to try to come if you can. It was a great, great venue. Really, really was. And I, like I said, I was skeptical at first about it with having the paintball. But every, I think they had 30 people that played, uh, signed up uh, to play paintball or airsoft. And uh, you're going to see I caught captured some really cool stuff. I go through just there's buildings. And like I said, it looks like end of the world stuff, like apocalypse happened. It's just it would be such a great um, studio, <laughs> uh, you know, to do like a filming of something like that. And I I would love to do a, um, you know, camp in that section like alone overnight and do like a like an end of the world kind of thing. Like, um, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> so my, my mind was going and I was thinking of, and I did get a lot of, uh, the, uh, hover X X one drone footage, just different clips that you're going to see in the video. Um, and it was so cool. I like when we're all gathered around, I say, I'd set it off and I go, all right, nobody look at it because <laughs> i knew it was going to be coming back and that's like the couple seconds that i want to do it and people were like this and then when i said oh don't look at it and then they all turn around and everybody there was so 
so um, accommodating as well uh, for even my uh, stuff that I was doing to capture the essence of it, because I really want to see this thing grow even bigger. Um, it, not that I would have any part in it, but if I can have a small part in helping it to grow, I definitely want to do it because all the newbies uh, that have never been to one and are questioning, I don't know how I would do in a hammock. These are the events to go to. Uh, Stitch, Stitch had told me many, many a time, you got to get to one, you got to get to one. And, and this was the one in the fall that he had told me to go to, but I was already planning on going up to hang out with Alpine Warrior and Stitch coming in there. What just wasn't enough time because it was going to be raining that weekend. I wouldn't have enough time to dry all my stuff out. <laughs> so I hear me talking faster because I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> um, uh, where? Let's see. Ah, yeah, okay. So you know that area as well. Cool. Hey, George Jackson. How are you doing, brother? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Tony, haven't been around. Tony, catching up on some uh, of your videos. Just watched the Subaru car lot video. Yeah. Uh, had a bunch of uh, problems and, oh, sorry to hear that and couldn't, de couldn't, uh, and could definitely use your prayers. Well, brother, definitely be praying for you. And uh, also a stroke survivor, George is. And um, yeah, definitely be praying for you. And I I'm, I'm probably going to hear that there's many people praying already because I'm, I'm way behind on our comments and stuff. Yeah, so thanks everyone for praying. Hey, Small Town Adventures, how you doing? Hey, there's Brian Mark. How are you doing? Uh, cooking on Cape Cod. What? Ah, that's so awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, did I meet uh, Rewild Outdoors at the Hammock hang, Hammock Con in Florida? Yeah, that's where I met him uh, first. I'd watched his video from 2023 at Hang Con. And so I already uh, had corresponded him after watching that video before I'd gone down to Hang Con this year. And uh, we planned on meeting up and I would see him different places. And I was filming and then we finally caught up, um, I think on day three, maybe day four and um, in the video. So that's where we had met. We've corresponded different times and he was invited to come up to the uh, Woolly Swamp. So him and I camped together. In fact, he made some uh, red beans and rice with andouille sausage. Man, that was good. And we swapped a meal because I had made mahi mahi. Uh, first time I ever made it, uh, Stitch had sent me a recipe uh, to make fish tacos. And I made that and we swapped the meal uh, for that as well. Hey, Jason, how are you doing? Uh, awesome. Uh, great to meet you this weekend. Great meeting you too. Uh, so I didn't, I don't know um, the last name. Uh, I think maybe I only, uh, but if you are the one that found my mic, praise the Lord. Thank you so much. And you're the one that makes the coffee. Uh, you have a little coffee company. Uh, you brew coffee. And if you're new to the channel, you know I like coffee. When when the two bags of coffee uh, that were donated, and I think it was you, Jason. I'm not sure. Uh, but I remembered them saying Jason had donated the coffee. So if it's you, put your uh, coffee company down here in the in the comment section uh, as well. So, uh, but uh, <laughs> it was whole bean coffee. And uh, who, um, Vicky, who, who works for Dutch, had said uh, she had been smelling it in her uh, car or something like that the whole couple days of getting it over to the donation table for the uh, giveaways. Yeah. Uh, get a golf cart, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> I'd need a trailer to pull it. Yeah. <laughs> but I thank you uh, for running me around uh, on that golf cart down there when I was down at Woolly Swamp when we were walking around. Oh, great uh, question. Here we go. Um, Tony, uh, did you happen to see some interesting new gear while you were out at Maha? Yes, I did. So I finally got to take a look at the um, a close up of the uh, uh, Whoopi sling and the Whoopi by Dutchware, the whoopee, it was the little hook. I show that in the video. Um, 
I think it was Rodney Rodney's uh, spot that I'd stopped out and talked to him. Uh, but yeah, I did. I, I saw a lot of new gear. I saw um, the uh, so cool. I wish I would have gotten a video of it. Um, but Burner had told me that um, I think it was Lynn and family. They had um, I think it was Lynn had their setup. They, their, the, their family they have uh, two young kids, and they had a hammock set up where they had the, the dad, I believe, had the hammock set up, and then there was a smaller hammock right above them, so they were like double stacked. So their child went in a smaller hammock on top of the bigger hammock, and uh, I saw another one. I saw a gear hammock. Uh, underneath of someone's hammock and that's in the video i just show it they weren't around so i didn't want to go into their spot is uh and just you know poke around but i filmed it and that's on the video and i wasn't able to catch them at their location but yeah very very cool yeah so i did see i was able to check out a little bit more gear and i did Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah yeah you're gonna see some stuff on this video coming up this thursday i I'm, I'm going to get better and better at doing these. And I think Friday night when I um, made my coffee uh, for the night, I did a little um, uh, little uh, explanation of uh, how I thought the next day was going to go. But I had talked to so many people and I said, you know, it's it's kind of hard to film uh, because you, when you're filming, you know, you, there's so much that's not captured that I can't capture on film because I don't want to go, oh, can you say that again? And I hold the camera up, you know, and say, let me mark you up. Can you say that again? If I did that, it would not come out the same way as us just corresponding. So, yeah. And if someone knows I have the camera on, um, it's just different. Uh, and then also it doesn't, doesn't flow like a natural conversation. So I even say, um, you know, if you want to experience what I'm experiencing that's off film, you're just going to have to come and experience it for yourself. <laughs> and Terry, uh, T-E-R-R-I, uh, that's in the comments, can attest to that uh, because she just came, her and her son, and then they went in and I was doing some stuff editing, uh, just trying to get the stuff off my phone so I could get caught up. And uh, they went and toured, uh, did a walk. There's a train tunnel that we go through is i'm not going to give too much away but i'm already giving stuff away <laughs> wish it warm up in ontario yeah uh we have frost warnings here despite all the spring blossoms oh uh, yeah and it's going to hurt those isn't it um hammock forums there you go i'm way behind aren't i uh sorry to hear uh olden crackadated yeah yeah um Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I'm going to scroll quick. I uh, see everybody saying hi to one of those. So this is how I can catch up quick because I can just go, go, go. But I'm just looking for new names. Uh, yeah. So that video that was Thursday night, like I said, it's doing real good. About 5,300 uh, views the last time I checked this afternoon. And I believe believe we've, uh, we're have we over 14,300 and uh, 40 subscribers now so um and i know we've got a, um, a lot of people said hey i'm going to check your channel out and uh, i really appreciate everybody that said that uh down there yes okay oh hey adam how you doing uh how do we find your amazon store list okay so the amazon storefront is in every description of every video just open up a video then go to the description open up the description box you can pause the video um, and just if you don't want to hear me just going on and on and on again <laughs> but go into that video go into any description of a video and you'll see Amazon storefront in the affiliates link section. You can click on that. It'll take you right to our storefront and then it'll open up like um, cooking equipment, hammock, equip hammock equipment. And if I, if it's on Amazon, um, I tried to do a link in there so you can like lighting, you can click on lighting and it's got like, these things like the O light all bulbs and stuff that 
I use for filming. Um, that's amazing um, to film with. Um, hey guys, Smiley, so on there, um, it, that's where you'd find it in the description of every video. And then I break it all down into categories. Uh, hey guys, Smiley, how you doing? Uh, apparently Kung Pao uh, chicken doesn't get the 2.0 approval. No, there's not too many things that don't. Um, I don't know. I just didn't care for it uh, as much. Now, I do have another one in the box over here because I've gotten two of them. Uh, because when I bought them, I bought two thinking, ah, if I like it. Uh, so uh, maybe I'll, I'll take that one along and give someone a choice if they're camping with me. Say, hey, you want kind of do you do you want this chicken and dumplings you know or do you want this kung pao <laughs> and just hold the other one out further <laughs> and, uh, and they'll go like trying to see around the other meal that i have and uh <laughs> yeah uh but yeah i didn't care for it as much yes the tarp was a special pen print from dutchware yeah he does a lot of specialties and him and dutch and i spoke you know, he he has a lot of patents on tarp fabrics, the fabrics itself and the hammock fabrics. Uh, he goes in and selects uh, all of the thread that goes. And he sat down with me. I was so honored um, that he uh, came uh, on the meal night and uh, sat down next to me and uh, across from me and started talking and sharing. That was the first time that I've ever gotten to really talk with him because down at hang con he was so busy and it was um late uh in the day and i know he'd been talking to a million people and i didn't want to take away uh and i said hey <laughs> dutch and i filmed him real quick on day two of hang con knowing that he was from the area and i wanted to go to his location maybe and talk to him uh but finally got to sit down and actually talk with him. And I got up at six o'clock in the morning uh, because, and I saw him walking up to go uh, start um, coordinating breakfast. And, and I went up there and I filmed the, the, um, <laughs> I call it Dutch and crew. <laughs> and, uh, he's got a core crew of people that, that um, cook the meals and they are so efficient at it. And I show actually the, the little prep of the, um, the burritos and i talk about those and show you the breakfast burritos oh they were amazing and pork roll almost missed out on it because he slept in <laughs> and why not had to uh, call him to wake him up <laughs> so yeah but he slept good in his hammock yeah he did all right so uh yeah uh let's see so yeah, it, it's just, uh, hey, Euphoric, uh, Granny Productions. Hey, hi, Tony. How are you doing, sis? All right. Uh, haven't talked to you in a while, Dave. Uh, how's your brother doing? Uh, good, good, good. Yeah, still in prayers, definitely. All right. Hey, Gene, how are you doing? Oh, uh, a bit late from Georgia. Well, I'm late. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm real late. <laughs> like a half an hour late uh, getting to your comment. Uh, let's see. I'm going to scroll down, scroll down. Hey, Joyce, how are you doing? Joyce Dillinger, uh, how are you doing? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, how are you? Uh, are you doing okay recovering from the side effects of the uh, an infusion I had on Thursday? Fever broke early today. That's awesome. Uh, recovering from side effects of an infusion. Yes, yes, Joyce. Praise the Lord, and I pray that it continues to, to do well for you and continue to recover. Uh, Josh and Jen, how are you doing? Jen, hopefully your recovery is going to uh, good as well. And guys, keep keep Jen in prayer. Um, I, I, didn't, I don't think I had the liberty to share about that. Uh, so, but j the Lord knows what uh, the issue is and uh, just, C continue to lift her up in prayer and also uh, Josh as well. Yeah. Uh, I know I want to find Morel so bad. I really do. And they're, they're out at this time. I, I've heard people saying that the Morels are out. <laughs> a tic tac. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had a tick attack. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was definitely a ticket. Oh, there we go. You fixed it. Squirrel. <laughs> hey, it's really good seeing you on here, Alpine. Really is. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, uh, Dixie Cup. All righty, Dixie Cup. Uh, Tony, I heard uh, that if you put your clothes in dryer, it kills the ticks. Yeah, I, um, I had heard that as well. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I'm really uh, going to like that permethrin. Uh, there was a couple people um, that I talked to. In fact, one individual, uh, they said uh, they had... Uh, had a tick on their sleeve, not down here. Uh, it was at a different time. And uh, he said the permethrin works so good that it was crawling up his sleeve. And he let it go for about four inches, just watching it crawl, wanted to see what the effects were. And he said it got about, kept slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, and it died <laughs> right on his sleeve. And he just went, boop, and <laughs> flicked it off. So, yeah, it does work good, but maybe uh, it, it um, uh, not everybody has that um, goodness <laughs> with, uh, with it, but I, that's the first time I've ever used it, and I'm glad I did. Uh, cedar side spray works well too. Oh, cool. Uh, let's see. Question um, Dave, does Tony know that song? I don't like spiders and snakes. No, I don't know that one. Hey, Freddie Moss, how are you doing, Freddie? That's my, uh, my brother, Freddie. Hey, everybody. Sorry, late. Uh, been under the house. Oh, good. <laughs> Not under the weather. Uh, under the house working on our hot water heater that's went out. Ah, sorry to hear that. You did. I believe you did some. I think you messaged me that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it gets uh, worked out. Yeah. Are they deer ticks? I'm not sure if it was a deer tick. It was very small, but I think it was just newly hatched. I must have walked right through a uh, nest uh, of new newlings. And what's the purpose of a tick? You know, everything's got a purpose. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's the purpose of a tick. <laughs> I've never found that purpose out <laughs> yet. Oh, good night, good night, good night, Imran. Uh, Good night all the way from the Caribbean islands in Trinidad. I haven't seen you on here in a while. Oh, I probably missed you. You already went to bed because that was a half an hour ago. I'm sorry. If, but if you're still on there, hey, <laughs> good night. You have a great night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. So, hey, Kenny, how are you doing? Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to catch up. I miss 2.0s on here. <laughs> hi, all. Everybody said hi to Lisa a half an hour ago. <laughs> hey, Ed, I'm glad you made it. Uh, let's see. Hey, Barry Torres. <laughs> God bless you, sis. All right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we're in. Everybody's got to remind Miss 2.0 that she's going to have to go camping soon. Because we're about less than 700 away from 15,000. And we'll have to pull up the last uh, live that she was on with us. And I think uh, I think that was when we had just hit 10,000 subscribers. Uh, I said, hey, <laughs> she's going to go camping with us. <laughs> and she said, yeah, I will. <laughs> I wasn't real enthusiastic. She probably thought we'd take a year or two <laughs> until we got there. But we're getting there quick. Uh, that because that was before we went down to Florida for Hancon. Uh, yes, 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 Earth Day tomorrow. Absolutely. Hey, Aaron Weiser. Uh, good to see you, Tony. Good seeing you too. I must have been uh, so hard with uh, all those leaves. Uh, yeah, yeah, to find the microphone. Oh, but once I put it in the Lord's hands, I try to take it out of my mind and not worry or stress about it. And that's what we need to do with so many things. So there's definitely a teachable lesson in there. Uh, and I got taught. Uh, where's Bowinkle? <laughs> yeah, uh, squirrel and Bowinkle. I forget what that squirrel's name is. Uh, I don't know. Probably say that down here somewhere. Uh, I'm I'm scrolling. That's why I'm not yapping. Absolutely, Brittany. Keep living your life to the fullest. Yeah. Now, Brittany is um, 
I believe I'm trying to look at the little thumbnail there. Brittany is um, a uh, childhood friend of our one daughter. Oh, before I forget, uh, before it gets out of today, <laughs> today's G B Gabrielle's birthday. Uh, our daughter Gabrielle turned uh, 31 today, so Miss 2.0 and I ran up to her house. Miss 2.0 baked her a cake from scratch, uh, a, a, a Black Joe cake, which is a cake with coffee. It's a dark, very dark cake. Uh, with, and she even made the peanut butter icing. Oh, was that piece of cake good? And uh, they gave me a piece like this big. It was small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think she brought some of it home. Uh, but great and happy birthday, Gabby. And the cup that I used in that video Thursday night, the Mr. 2.0 cup, uh, that's the one that Gabrielle had made me. And so I ended the video with that cup. And then after the filming of that video, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, after the, oh, thank you, Ed, <laughs> for that super chat squirrel. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, so after um, after I filmed that video, I thought, you know what? I know I'm going to go to Hangcon, or not Hangcon, down, um, down to the hang, uh, down at Maha. So why don't I start my video from this camp? All right, and use this cup and do something creative. I had thought about this uh, for hours leading into it, and uh, like, how am I going to do the video? Because it's a different, it's a whole different style of video um, when you're with other people versus just me out camping. And I, some of the hardest stuff is getting the video started. The second thing is, what are we cooking? <laughs> yeah, uh, but I had um, done that um, and. It's going to be so cool. I cannot wait for you to see how we start Thursday night's video. So that's a little tease for you. And uh, it's it's going to be wild, wild. First time I ever did something like that. And yeah, it, it, it was. And I even mentioned it to Stitch. Uh, um, before I went out on that Thursday night, that video for Thursday night, I mentioned it to him. We talked about it a little bit. I was bouncing the idea off to him. I think, Stitch, I think you're going to be pretty impressed uh, with the um, uh, crystal blue persuasion. Ah, yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that is so cool. Yeah. I can't even believe I sung. I don't know if I did the song justice, which I don't want to do too much justice the song because I get dinged. <laughs> they give me a copyright. Uh, Camp at the Cumberland Falls State Park in Kentucky. Ah, George George. Hey, George George. How are you doing? Hey, there's our friend Dennis. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hammock Mountain. Uh, I like squirrels. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't know if you ever had squirrel pot pie, but uh, Uncle Ken, good, good friend of the family, um, he may, used to make squirrel pot pie. He owned a restaurant. He was um, 72. I worked with him and uh, this is going back years ago. We called him Uncle Ken because that's what everybody called him. Wasn't really our uncle, uh, but he was a very, very close um, co-worker who I had the opportunity to lead to the Lord. And then he just was a changed man. Um, I remember being a co-worker with him. He was such, uh, just so angry all the time and uh, just had so much conflict going on in his life, even for being an older guy. Uh, but uh, I had the opportunity to bring him to, to, to share the gospel with him and he received Christ and unbelievable. And then uh, as we we were we lived very close to one another and um, just a blessing. But he used to make squirrel uh, pot pie. I didn't know it was squirrel. <laughs> we were eating pot pie. Well, I thought it was chicken pot pie. Uh, but he was making it. And I pulled up a spoon the one day. And I was like, that looks like a, that's a little chicken bone. <laughs> and it was real small. But it was a little squirrel. 
squirrel bone. I guess you just put them all in there. Uh, and uh, tastes like chicken. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, but that's the first time I ever ate a, uh, a squirrel. Uh, squirrel pot pie. It was good. Hello from Ranshaw. Hey, John. Uh, uh, Schofield Flame Boy, how are you doing, brother? Uh, did you hear about uh, the fire and smoking today? No, I did not. Um, no, 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 I didn't. Um, yeah, no, I didn't. Yeah, I hope everybody was okay. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. I uh, got. Oh, yes, it was Lynn. Yes. Uh, yeah, and uh, she had found Lynn, um, Terry did, when she walked in. Uh, because she was unsure. And I said, no, there's definitely uh, going to be um, all all age groups um, there. Uh, but definitely that's what the community hang is about, um, which is uh, the hammock hang. And um, I guess her and her son walked in and, and got to go over and talk to Lynn. And, uh, you know, just everybody was so friendly, right? Right, uh, just Terry is just uh, unbelievable, so accommodating and so uh, welcoming. Uh, j that's just it's a great community. Great, great. The hammock hanging community is just unbelievable. Uh, and the more I get to know about everybody and get to experience these groups, um, I just, um, yeah, so cool. Uh, bearded Viking, how are you doing, brother? Uh, I'm going to uh, be staying at. Um, Shackle Ford Banks, North Carolina this summer on a camping trip. I'm looking forward to that. Well, uh, man, I hope you have a great time. North Carolina is amazing, amazing, amazing. I really like, uh, really like that. Uh, I like where Sean did a quick behind the scenes shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if you didn't see uh, Rewild, uh, his video, he came out with that earlier this week. Uh, and when I was cooking the fish taco, he goes, hey, we're going to, in his video, he goes, we're going to sneak over and just while Tony's filming, we're going to do a little behind the scenes of him filming his video. And so he shows him coming around the, his car and like sneaking over there. And I didn't know he was filming. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. Hey, Big Mike. Uh, how are you doing, Big Mike? Uh, it's coming up 2 a.m. here. Uh, I'll, I'll be in. Oh, 2 a.m. What? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And dear old uh, Blighty. All right. Cheers. 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 Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll bid you all uh, adieu. Oh, I, I do. Uh, what is that? It's Sound of Music. Yes. Uh, I, I love that. Oh, I love Sound of Music. Uh, that musical, The um, I loved that movie. Yeah. And I remember, I had not heard that term in so long. I bid you all adieu. Uh, good night and farewell. <laughs> all right. You have a great night's sleep. Adventures with Sorg. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Is there somewhere that hammock people uh, sell or use gear? Uh, let's see, like they were selling. There is a, um, um, oh, there's the, there is the Facebook group. In fact, they were down at HangCon. They had a big, they were there and they had a big, I don't remember what it was, but someone in here will answer that. Maybe they already did. Hey, Eric, how are you doing? Oh, thanks, KN, for putting that up. So this is the storefront. And uh, that's one thing about Discord. Uh, KN went in and put all of our affiliate links in there. Um, and uh, yeah, how about that? That was the first time on Thursday night's video that I realized at the end of that camp that I had everything was one wind. We got a lot of compliments on our one wind gear down there. Um, in fact, a couple of people came up and asked about it and said, how, how did I like the tarp? They wanted to know more about the uh, one win tarp. And on a lot of those, uh, always try to use, if you go to one of the affiliate links, if there is a discount, um, there is a discount code, R-A-2-1-1. 
2.0. So always try the discount code. Some places are five to 20% off. Um, and I know there was a couple of people that asked about the um, the little drone. If you go onto Amazon, it's more expensive. If you go into the link in my video, uh, and it's like a hundred dollars cheaper on there um, than on Amazon if you get it right from Hover Air. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, that uh, black bison hot sauce. 10 out of 10 is what the label said. And I didn't put, as you saw, much of that on there. And, and I ended up coughing. That was, a, that was a good one. But it had a lot of good flavor to it. Even though it was hot, it had some good, good flavor. That's why I added it to that <laughs> meal. <laughs> I think that, that uh, Kung Pao was a little better because I had that hot sauce in it. But it was spicy already without it. Uh, yeah. Dixie Cups asking a question. Um, uh, let's see. Hey, Tony, uh, where did you uh, park your Subi on Thursday's video? Uh, did you park on the shoulder of the road? No, there's a, a big dirt pull off uh, that I parked it at. And then I walked out the mountain. And it was, it was a little bit of walk, um, but it worked out great. And I slept really really good uh even though that traffic and you saw how close i was to the road uh i was pretty pretty um pretty close to the road so those tractor trailers and stuff but and i heard multiple times i did wake up a couple times because i heard stuff walking uh and i was just hoping that they went by the game cam uh, but that that raccoon when he stood up on his hind legs and he's sniffing i had just gotten up at 2 a.m because i looked at my phone to see what time it was and it was at 2 a.m and um just went and watered a tree and then went back to the hammock and went back to sleep and on the game cam the time stamp was 2 19. uh so he must have been known that i was there because he was upwind from me um so uh but i couldn't put the game cam downwind anywhere because that was the highway <laughs> or down and i couldn't walk any further down that way as well all right so oh let's see hey jonathan how are you doing tony can you put a hammock up uh oh you can can i put a hammock up in my backyard on two evergreen trees and 20 foot apart um yes you'll probably have to put the strap up higher um so rather than going eye level with the straps you might have to get them up even higher but if you depending on how big around they are you might have to use bigger um use extra strap um just and depending on the pine trees, how high the um, branches are, even if there's branches low where you gotta kind of navigate to get into the trunk of the tree, if you've got a long enough, um, long enough straps and you're coming, say, um, you know, five feet from eight to get outside of the branch, uh, as long as you got it up high enough and you can torque it, you should be able to. At least that's what I think. <laughs> yeah, because I've gone 20 feet. I've gone pretty far uh, with mine, and I've had to use an extra strap already. Um, and, and I'm going to say, I don't know if you have the one with the structural ridge line, but that always helps too. Yep. Uh, let's see. Mm, question, question. Hope that answers that. And I, I don't know if anybody's done it um, in the comments. Uh, maybe someone answered it as well. It's called. Oh, looking up quick. Hammock Hangers Flea Market. There you go. Great. Thank you much, Ed. Yeah, that's who was down there. Uh, Hammock Hangers Flea Market. And that's on Facebook. And, uh, and from what I understand, um, very very reputable um yeah and and they had a lot of stuff down when we were in florida hey uh, tony happy sunday happy sunday to you too tyler um has anyone found 
uh, chocolate peanut butter pop tarts yet. No, I think uh, Alpine, the last time we uh, talked about that, they were discontinued, someone said, but maybe someone uh, got a chance to find them. I keep looking for those pop tarts, Kayan says, yeah. Yeah, please pray, like, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up. Absolutely. Yeah, they stopped making them a few years ago. Yeah, that was a thing. Um, Suge uh, from uh, Suge Emery, um, he, I guess they're getting ready. Suge's going, he put out a video that he's going to hang, hang con, Europe hang con, the one over uh, that AJ and all of them are going to. Uh, yeah. And if you remember, we talked to, um, when we were down there, we got a chance to talk to the Danish festival guys um, from over there. Yeah. Hey, uh, Two Cycle Biker. Uh, how are you doing? Is what is on the thermocell pads. Really? Okay. I didn't know that. Uh, hey, William, how are you doing? Uh, don't totally rely on a spray for ticks. I had four of them on me um, at once last summer. I had to dig out. Oh, okay. Um, they were deer. Oh, chipmunk got on my chair during the night and I was uh, in my camper not stealthing. Wow. Okay. Thanks uh, for the heads up on that. Yeah, okay, the foods for uh, chicken and possums. I think I did hear that. We need more chickens and possums in the woods. <laughs> we ought to just go start releasing the chickens. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, so don't kill any possums or chickens that you see in the woods because they that's like black snakes. You know, a lot of people freak out when they see a black snake. Uh, but if you see black snakes, you're almost guaranteed not to see poisonous snakes because they help keep them away i believe they eat them even yeah so don't kill black snakes but some people just see see a snake and go oh let's cut its head off <laughs> ah and they scream <laughs> yeah uh let's see hey chris how are you doing <laughs> What? A squirrel got into your coffee, into the coffee. Oh, that's not good. Hey, uh, there's Deep South. Oh, and I'm just getting to Ed's uh, super chat again. Thank you again, Ed. I really appreciate that. But there's D Deep South EDC. Go check their channel out. They got a lot of knives. Yeah, they do. Oh, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, happy birthday, Gabby. You know Gabby. Yeah. Hey, Barbara Everett. How are you doing? E Everett. No, I believe that's how that's pronounced. Mm, oh, oh, I just I just got that. Um, I just got that with the soup bowl. I've had uh, snapper soup too. Uh, in New Jersey, when I lived in New Jersey as a little kid, the neighbor used, they used to go out um, snapper hunting, um, catching, <laughs> jigging, and something like that. And they would get um, get snapper and then make snapper soup. That was the first time I ever had snapper soup. I was probably about uh, 14 years old. I loved it. Oh, my goodness. You know, as a kid, you're kind of inquisitive. <laughs> what are you making? <laughs> and uh, they made it, and I ate it, and I loved it. And I've never tasted. I've gotten it one other time. I saw it on a menu, and I got it, and it didn't taste the same. It was good, but it just didn't taste the same. Mmm, turtle soup, says Dixie Cup. Yeah. Can't get turtle soup anymore. Yeah. Uh, it's Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, but they are tasty. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, let's see. Any plans, uh, trips uh, west this year? No, I don't. I haven't yet uh, thought about it. Jay uh, from Jay Wanders Out, uh, after he finished with Florida, he I just watched his video. He was in Arches. And uh, if you want to see a good video on Arches, he does a 
think he's there for two days on that one. And he hikes to a ton of arches. And, you know, when I had gone, I couldn't really hike that far. And I apologized even on the video that, you know, with the stroke, I just can't, you know. But I noticed a lot of other things, but I wasn't able to get to a lot of those arches. Um, and, and just to a lot of things that he's actually catching in his videos. And I was like, oh, that's what it looks like. <laughs> but he goes to a lot of the trails. Really, I think he might have gotten to every arch in the place. And uh, some of them that people, he was all by himself because people would park, go out to the first arch, realize that second was kind of far away. So then he would, they would turn around and go back and he would, he would just keep hiking out to him. And he, there was places where he was there all by himself. Hey, 12 stones adventures. How are you doing? God bless you, brother. One, one makes some great gear. Yeah, they do. And it's very economical, very economical, especially with my uh, discount code. <laughs> right. Um, is the Discord up and running? Uh, yes, yes, it is. And we're going to keep it private. Um, and we're figuring out how to get people uh, to that uh, so that they can get in it. So uh, Stitch had a great idea. I'm going to, I want to talk to you, Kay Ann, about uh, that idea as well. Uh, let's see. Thinking, and well, I'll just talk about it right now, real quick. Uh, so, um, there is, and I'm available to do it, um, is to do a um, member uh, YouTube. They, they allow you to do member. And when you, they were, uh, Stitch was telling me that he's a part of, when he goes into member, there's links uh, to like Discord and things like that. And that's how you can kind of keep it private. Uh, anybody that wants to get to some of that stuff, they can do it through the member uh, YouTube channel. That way it's not out there in the public all the time, but you get access and then you get stickers and it tells you all kind of neat stuff. Uh, but I didn't really get a chance to look into it as much because I was going away. <laughs> yep. I'm sure rum cake is better than rice cakes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Ed. All righty. <laughs> yeah, that must be a big thumbs up from Alpine Warrior. Uh, thank you, KN. Uh, let's see. I uh, hope you have an amazing night. Going uh, to spend time with family before bed. All right. Good night. Thanks for jumping on, Brittany. It was great seeing you the other day as well. Uh, definitely, definitely. You got a beautiful little family. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Hey, uh, Tony, how are you doing? Tony with an eye. <laughs> uh, I, hope, uh, I hope I got my eye checked. Uh, so, it was very familiar. I was very familiar with it, and it's 100% better. That night, like I said, it just right before we went live, I got that bl black, and it was stringy. Uh, and it reminded me of the eye that I just had the laser surgery on to remove those. Um, so I reached out, and um, uh, I didn't go to get it checked. Uh, I rested it my eyes, and um, it totally went away the next day as well um so totally i not even there uh so praise the lord and and i believe that's because of a lot of y'all praying for it amen let's see coming down coming down coming down oh another question from alpine awesome uh tony when are you uh, going to try fishing again not sure, not sure, but I, I, I got to actually practice. I keep saying I want to practice with my left hand, get that, because I used to cast with my left hand. And um, uh, the Northwest Wind, uh, and congratulations on his channel. He just hit 10K. Um, but him and I, and I know he's, he's a big fisherman, uh, and he's doing a lot of trout fishing camps right now. And uh, we're talking about getting together, uh, but maybe because uh, we'll do a camp together and then maybe I'll try to do a little bit of fishing with him just to get out. But he does a lot of fly fishing and I know I can't do that because um, I used to fly fish. Uh, but let's see. That, that's a whole different skill. Hey, Liberty's Workshop. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what did you uh, do in your past life? Uh, before uh, killing it on YouTube. <laughs> uh, well, I was um, 
I sold solar panels uh, for a lot of years. A lot of years I was solar uh, sales, both residential and commercial, but bigger in commercial. Uh, so I did a lot of um, uh, business to business um, solar sales for large projects. Uh, so I was doing sales uh, and a lot of uh, residential as well. Uh, but that's what I did. And then they went out of business. So I was working at Lowe's uh, distribution center doing training and stuff on equipment and also production, picking things like that. And uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then that, that's when I hit 500 subscribers on the one year anniversary of the channel. And that morning, went to work, all excited. And then I had the major stroke that night and lost all the movement on my right side and have been in recovery since. Um, but yes. What Liberty Workshop. Thank you so much for that super sticker. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really do appreciate that. Yeah, but that's what I did and killing it on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm only I'm only killing it because of we've got a great community and a community that's continuing to grow and continuing to come along on our adventures. Yes, really appreciate everybody's um, just. I'm going to say hard work because <laughs> sometimes it's hard work watching me talk and go on and go on, especially on these lives and when I get behind so far. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, wait, I'm catching up. So 928 uh, is the comment I'm at. Uh, so and it's 935. We're catching up. Must mean people are dropping off. No, we still got 68 people watching. Awesome. Hey, Cindy, how are you doing? I uh, keep a uh, lint roller uh, on hand to go over your clothing to collect ticks. That's a great idea. You know what? I just bought a little at the Dollar General. I was in there looking around because uh, that's where I get some of my ideas and some uh, little stuff. And I saw lint rollers for a dollar. <laughs> so I bought I bought two and I have one in my um well, it's in the car now, but I do have that. I had one in my backpack as well, but that's a great idea. Yeah, it is. Ah, look at y'all. So innovative. Yeah, keep sharing your ideas with one another. I love that. Uh, I would get snapper soup in one of the, my oh, in New Jersey. That's where I lived. I lived in um, Tabernacle. That's where that was when when I when I was younger. Lived in Tabernacle, New Jersey. Went to Tabernacle Elementary School and then Shawnee High School. Um, freshman and then sophomore. That, yeah, yeah, for uh, ninth and tenth grade, uh, and I was a gymnast. Uh, my tenth grade year, I went out for gymnastics. I was um, um, I lettered my first year of gymnastics so i was a gymnast <laughs> for a lot of years well not a lot of years but uh, but got into it real late actually went went varsity my first year yeah Ooh, clam chowder <laughs> see if they sing better than chiggers <laughs> yeah let's see coming down coming down Oh, <laughs> fly tape works great when uh, fishing for flies. There you go. <laughs> you know, the flies are, are, are already out on a couple of those warm days. Uh, there was flies. And when I was filming, when I was doing the game cam uh, on Thursday night's video, if you saw, there was a big bug. I didn't notice the bug when I was filming, but when I did the editing and watching the video then, I saw this thing flying around on the, towards the screen. Uh, but yeah, and at night, wasn't that game cam so cool? Now, it had sound. Uh, so so this game cam, at night, it does the infrared, and that's why. Um, and it makes a little clicking noise, too, uh, because I heard clicking in it. I think it was clicking. But you get audio and 
but it was picking up the power plant audio so it was kind of loud but uh it does the night vision black and white but during the day i actually <laughs> because i walked down a mike a mountain bike trail now it was facing a mountain bike trail also the trail i hiked out on and just for a split second uh coming down the woods uh just for a split second the camera picked up uh this guy on a, a mountain bike i didn't even know he was there i mean i saw it during the day it was color so he must have done that as soon, not too long after I set the camera up and walked back to camp. Uh, but I actually picked up just just for a, I like I couldn't even make make the person out or anything like that. But but it filmed it in color and it had full sound. So if something ever goes by our game cam during the day, it'll be in full color. I didn't put that in the video, <laughs> but uh, yeah. But that there's my, my mountain bike trails up around that area. Um, that I was at. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Liberty. Ed saying thank you as well. Uh, they call me 413. Welcome, welcome. Still here, my dude. Uh, awesome. Really appreciate that. Uh, does old can of, oh, sir. Okay. Let's see. I was, I was reading that. So Alpine was uh, talking to someone. Uh, coming down, coming down. Did I miss somebody? Oh, <laughs> I thought I missed somebody, but that's the abbreviation. <laughs> uh, I live in uh, Williamstown, New Jersey for about 20 years. Oh, awesome. Yeah, um, I lived in two places as a kid. Uh, we lived in Cherry Hill. Uh, I still remember the address, 123 Locust Street. I think that was the name, 123. 123. <laughs> um, so I lived there, and then we moved to Tabernacle, New Jersey, right around Red Lion Circle, um, out in that area. Yeah, in fact, not too far from Red Lion Circle. All right. Oh, let's see. Uh, am I getting caught up? I think I am. Hey, Adventure Nomad, how are you doing? Hello, Hammock Mountain saying. Okay, there's Chuck Jones. Awesome. Thank you, Stitch and Ed. I, I don't wish it on anyone either. Oh, I missed stuff. Oh, well, not sure what that was. But did I miss... This may be what Chuck was talking about. Uh, I'm not sure. We still got RNRV Chronicles in here as well. Okay, guys. Well, I was listening and working at. Yeah. Hey, are you still under that golf cart putting them tires on? When I called you, you said you called me back after you got out from underneath the cart. I was joking around and said, did Katie run over you? <laughs> but you said you called me back the other day. You didn't. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I will call you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I didn't even get that far. Uh, grab a bite to eat. All right. Oh, eat something for me. Uh, hey, um, I don't know if y'all ever heard uh, of the carnivore diet. Sure, y'all did. But Terry and I were talking about that. And, um, um, down at um, the hammock hang down at Maha, I was talking to um, Homeless Santa. He's been on the carnivore diet because I almost didn't recognize him first at first. He lost a lot of weight, but he was also telling me that he doesn't snore anymore since being on there. His type 2 diabetes went away. Uh, he was telling me about a lot of different things, brain fog. And he told me about a guy that he watches on YouTube. Maybe you guys know him, but Terry is also doing the um, um, carnivore diet. And they both knew the same person, watch his videos. And um, 
I just looked him up today and found him. So I'm going to start watching some of the videos. Uh, but it is um, Homestead How. So Homestead, H-O-W, Homestead How. Shout out <laughs> so <laughs> to Homestead How. Uh, but he actually, uh, I, I looked up a little bit about him, but he was from the city. Uh, he moved out to 20 acres, uh, husband and wife, six children, and they're living off the land. Uh, but he also, um, I looked back at some of his older videos, like he used to do other stuff. And then all of a sudden he did the carnivore diet. And sh uh, the, uh, it was just amazing. He lost over a hundred and some pounds. And uh, I saw an older picture of him and then a newer picture of him. Yeah, but talking about all the health benefits that he's experienced with it, really good. Uh, yeah, so I I want to I want to know more about it uh, because there seems to be a lot of good stuff with it. And as y'all know, that I am type two uh, diabetic uh, as well, and I know I eat crunch cakes. Yeah, but I only do that for the video. So if you don't see any more crunch cakes. You know, and you only see me cooking big old ribeyes and steaks. <laughs> now, I want to find out more about it. Oh, Terry. Okay, thank you. Yes. Oh, there's a question up there, too. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, let's see. But, yeah, uh, his whole family is doing carnivore now. That is awesome. It was cool to watch. Uh, check it out. Uh, let me get this question here real quick. So uh, Tyler is asking, where can I pick up an RA 2.0 hat? So this is a custom made hat. All right. And so uh, I had been looking for uh, ever since cap hat got eaten by a bear, eaten by bear, which is my daughter's dog. <laughs> when I was sitting in, he, uh, sitting and helping uh, a dog sitting the dog ate it um, and then I had it all it was distressed and everything well chewed <laughs> chewed uh, it's hanging over there on the tree uh, back there um, I've always wanted to find another um, hat see how this is real soft it's not like a regular hat it's a legacy hat and I had looked for these legacy hats. Let me get it the right way. <laughs> See my haircut. <laughs> yeah. So legacy hat. They used to be hard to find. And Camp Hat, the company that made Camp Hat, um, doesn't make that anymore. Um, I tried getting that and they didn't, didn't have them anymore. But this hat, I finally found this hat on Amazon. And but they're blank, so I took it to uh, Academy Sports, and they I drew this on a piece of paper, said what I wanted, and he brought it up, uh, sent me a thing about it, and um, told me it would be like five dollars to put this embroidery on it, and I was like, oh, okay, do that. Um, now the hat was not distressed; I distressed it with a knife blade yeah and distress the edges because i like it <laughs> and uh I, ever since uh it was chewed uh my other one i said i like the stressed look uh so this becomes new camp hat so i had gotten it from him but the hats are expensive um because i was thinking oh i could buy him and then get him to make it um but there, the hat and the embroidery. I think I've got. Ooh, it was because the hat went up in price and then it drops and then it goes up. But I got it on sale. But normally I think it's like sixteen or seventeen dollars. Uh, and then the embroidery. So I got like twenty-two dollars in the hat, and that's expensive hat. Um, so then to ship a hat to someone, things like that, would be, you know maybe five or six dollars more um and i i if i could have a place that would make the hat and 
make it a legacy app because I don't want to do anything other than a legacy app because it's so fine. It's nice. <laughs> um, I don't know. So that's that one. Now, this is the dark green one that I have. So I was playing around with the colors. And um, also had a, a, a gray one made. But I like the darker green better because it's closer to camp hat. I thought this one would be closer, but you can see I was wearing it for a while until I found the green one. Yeah, and you see I distressed that one as well. So a custom-made hat <laughs> with the distressing and everything. But I just can't figure out a way to do it. Um, but legacy hats. When we were down at HangCon, uh, as soon as I sat down to um, interview Adam from uh, Hammock Gear, I spotted he had a legacy hat on, and it was an HG leg legacy hat. Had a patch it said HG, but I didn't even see that. I I can tell a legacy hat because I like them. They're they're tight. They're they, they just there's nothing like a legacy hat. And we start out the interview. I'm like, hey, that's a legacy hat. And uh, he's like, yeah, that's my favorite hat, a legacy. No other hats fit the same. It's nothing fits like a legacy hat. And it's absolutely he's absolutely right. If you've never worn a legacy hat, <laughs> you ain't worn that legacy hat until you uh worn a legacy hat. Now, um Alpine Warrior found me a legacy hat now you can see this one's even more broken um and he got this or this from somebody and um got this this um this one here um and you can see i distressed that one as well because i like distressed hats um so but that was a legacy and it, it's a used hat somebody had it and he found it and ordered it for me and blessed me with it and you'll see this one on um, some past videos as well um and i forget where you got that alpine um you know, had everybody had <laughs> my hat <laughs> that's funny uh let's see uh oh did i get behind yes i did so um yeah, I just can't figure out uh, how to do the hats and make it economical um, and still be a. And so it's a custom one of a kind hat. <laughs> so these are my hats. <laughs> if I can figure out a way to do it, I definitely will. You know, you never know. Maybe um, maybe I might do some and do a giveaway or something like that, or maybe we'll. Uh, auction one off or uh, something like that but i i do have so this one's not distressed I, I didn't do anything to this one so when i took them i took them because i wanted to order a couple more so you can see it's already got the ra 2.0 uh, but legacy right there old favorite trucker is what the hat is but you can see that in this, the mesh is so soft. It's like when you when you see a regular hat and you try to go like this with mesh, it, it doesn't. It, it's, it's very sturdy. Uh, and I don't like the sturdy. They just it doesn't cup your head of it's just it's like a good fitting glove <laughs> right on your head. All right. Well, let's see. All right. So there's the hat about the hat. Um, what is the best meat to eat on a carnivore diet? You know what, Nomad? Um, when I was talking to um, Homeless Santa, he was eating a steak this thick. And I heard him say, this is a ribeye because it's got all the marbling and the fat in it because you want the fat, the good fat too uh, from the steak. But yeah, there's a lot of different um, things that you can eat, but it's gone single source. So even like salmon, sardines, there's, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna learn more about it. Uh, what is uh, best meat that's that? Uh, his whole family is doing carnivore now. And let's see, uh, KPD TV Productions on YouTube uh, did that. Mr. Uh, Mr. Ken in Ontario, 
uh ken dominic channel uh was cool to watch oh check it out definitely definitely freddie uh carnivore diet is great for a lot of health issues yeah and even mental health uh because that's one of the things that um homeless santa was telling me even for mental health and stuff he had brain fog and he he had just hit last week all of a sudden energy just a ton of energy really it sounds amazing uh but he now sleeps all night long just so many different things um yeah <laughs> uh let's see uh Folks, this channel is on its way. Huh? For dietary. There's <laughs> no way is a professional source of dietary information. Absolutely. Please consult a certified dietitian for your personal needs. Absolutely. 100%. And uh, that's one of the things. Please make note of that. <laughs> because. I'm not a dietitian or anything like that, not certified or anything. This 2.0 did get certified for um, uh, different things, but I am definitely not uh, anything like that. So please do not take anything that I say. Check everything out on your own. Thanks. Thank you, Stitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Um, let's see. Uh, so what? So that's how your cat. Hey. Got yeah yeah so that's that's how the caps get dog-eared um so one of the things about um hats too is if you notice inside of there's a plastic and i only knew that they were plastic uh when the bear ate it you know that it's plastic it's hard plastic i always remembered the hard cardboard when i was a kid because i used to when i got a ball cap i didn't wear them much but when i got one um i used to take from about here and bend it and then make this flat. So it was like little visors on the side. And that was the way I used to wear it 30, 40 years ago. Um, let's see, good night, Skeeter. Leonard, question marks. <laughs> I need an orthodontist for my teeth oral surgery oh sorry to hear that yeah yeah i hope you find one let's see uh let's see good night barbara i'm i because i'm not looking at certain things anytime i see someone say good night to someone else i'm gonna say it too um like the gray hat. All righty, Terry. Night all, guy. How are you? Good night, good night. Bar Rescue beckons. All right. <laughs> I'm competing with Bar Rescue. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, let's see. Uh, previous comment regarding professional advice. Yes. Boom. Yeah. I'm trying to learn all these things, but definitely. Espresso, not expresso. Espresso. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Terry. Awesome. 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 Great. 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 Uh, absolutely. Just personal opinions here. Uh. Squirrel in a hat. <laughs> yeah. The mad adder. <laughs> All right. Uh, there we go. All right. I am caught up. And it's 9.58. We still got 59 people watching. Um, so let's see. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're coming up. Oh, and two minutes will be coming up on our two-hour mark. So. Uh, what I try to do is I try to keep it around two hours uh, now. I mean, we've gone five already, and uh, we're going to do 24-hour live uh, sometime when we hit our 
hit our 15K. Uh, I think I want to, and I still haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet, keeping everything charged and all that stuff. Uh, but all righty, is there anything else? You know what? I didn't even drink any water. Uh, I had this whole water bottle here, and I didn't even drink it. Do I got anything else? Got anything else? Got anything else? Uh, let's see. So, again, that camp was great um, that we did. And as you know, I didn't eat the delicious oats uh, the next morning. We decided to save those. I was going to, I took them along with me down to, um, down to uh, Dutch, uh, where, down to Maha. And I was going to have them for breakfast the one morning, but. And they provided breakfast on that uh, Saturday morning. That was the morning I was going to eat it. But I, but I got up so early and went up there and I got to. That's going to be a great video. I can't wait for you guys to see that. A lot of neat stuff. A lot of neat stuff. Zoom zero one. Hello, everybody. Well, hello to you too, brother. Uh, let's see. Yep. Uh, only. Oh, I'm clicking over on the wrong one. Uh, let's see. i get off of that. Get that down. Okay. I'm over here. <laughs> there we go. Now I can get it up on the screen. Uh, oh, <laughs> Adam Zero One. Sorry about that. I, I don't even know what I said. Uh, but yeah, only 700 more subs, less than 700 now uh, till the 24 hour live. I think the carnivore diet sounds like a more extreme version of the keto. Um, I'm going to try it out. Awesome. Okay, Gene's asking a question here. What is the green shirt on the wall behind you? So it's not green, Gene. Uh, it's only green because of the lights. It's actually a light gray. So this came in the mail this is the uh, and sorry he had to ha had to mail it to me but this is from the north carolina hangers when i was down there uh he didn't get to get it to me before i left uh but hammock hangers and it's a light gray t-shirt so this is the north carolina hammock hangers group um and I do adventures had these made, James, and uh, he gave me one. But he had them for sale down there, too. Uh, I believe he still has some, even. Uh, but, but yeah, that's the uh, North Carolina. I told him I, it came the other day, and I said, I'm going to open that on Sunday, um, Sunday night live, uh, because I got it. I got it Monday, and I let him know that I got it. And... Um, I said I was going to open it on our Sunday Night Live. So he was on tonight earlier. I'm not sure if he's still here, uh, but down in there. Oh, I don't know, Johnny. That would be tough. Uh, I'd have to take my very large power bank. Yeah, I, I, that would be tough. That would be tough. And even... I'd almost have to do it somewhere where I know I've got internet reception. I'd have to do it somewhere where it wasn't a stealth camp uh, because for 24 hours, me keeping my location secret uh, so that people just don't show up um, on our live would be tough too. But hey, we'll figure something out. Oh, you are here. Great, great, great. <laughs> yep. So that's the that's the shirt you sent me. Uh, that that's a cool shirt. Says uh, Tyler. Uh, since you said uh, North Carolina, since you said North Carolina, there's a small population of endangered red wolves out here. Really? Oh wow! Did not know that. Yeah, Terry saying what an awesome shirt. Yeah, it is. And I, I didn't wear it yet, um, but I'm going to be wearing it after tonight. <laughs> so I'll probably wear that tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Well, what else? 
Oh, <laughs> because I have, uh, um, uh, let me show you. This is how I got it set up. Oh. <laughs> There's, you guys, you can see the computer screen. I've got both of them open there. I got YouTube on the one side and I got a live, uh, the live stream on this side so I can see this stuff over here. And I'm seeing a little heart in the corner. People are clicking the hearts. Uh, thank you for the hearts. I vote for a 24 hour live camp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Well, it would be hard. I think hard to do. I heard dryer and kidder. Oh yeah. Kills the, the chiggers. I've never had chiggers. <laughs> Was it Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> Tiggers. <laughs> so, <laughs> the wonderful thing about chiggers. <laughs> There's nothing wonderful about chiggers. From what I understand, they itch. I've seen people with all those welts. And that's like um, down in Florida, you guys got those no um uh, down there. Remember Dave telling me about those no -CMs? Oh, uh, he said they're bad, 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 bad when he was down in Florida. All right. Well, I'm thinking if nobody has any more questions, I think we ought to call it a night and get going. Oh, and squirrel. <laughs> I just looked over and I saw the Tony Chocoloni. So I did eat that other. Tony Chocoloni uh, out on that that camp is a little snack, uh, and I had the caramel one. <laughs> so that was the little Tony Chocoloni I showed you that I found at Walmart uh, the other week. Oh, on this video coming up, <laughs> I'm thinking all these things now. Uh, on this uh, video, oh yeah, Stitch, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, and I think there's actually a way on YouTube that I can um, have any pro students that come in for that for that live. I know on a video I can. Uh, I'll have to look into that. You can pick a charity and it just goes right to it. Uh, or we can do like a Jerry Lewis telethon. Yeah. So I can sing and dance and tell jokes. Squirrel and <laughs> do squirrels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do our own little telethon. Yeah. Um, would you ever do a camp with any of your followers? Oh, I'm cl clicking on the wrong thing. I got to do that over here. Last question. Would you ever do a camp with any of your followers? Yes, I was actually um, thinking, but this year earlier in the year when i went up to the ccc camp i was talking about man that'd be a great great place to do a thing but then they had a fire ban the whole reason i wanted to do it there is we could have a community fire uh but but yeah i would definitely in fact i camped with a, a hammock hung with a, a lot of subscribers this weekend <laughs> at a hammock hang uh here and also when i was down in florida uh there was about 15 or so subscribers to there and then there was more that came throughout the weekend to say hi and stuff that just drove over because they were close uh but yeah yeah eventually i'd like to, i'd like to do a some kind of a setup where we can do oh does pineapple go on pizza absolutely it does uh nanner nanners nanners <laughs> that's like uh maybe like nana would be nanners that's cool i never saw that that's awesome uh does pineapple go on pizza yes it's called hawaiian pizza if you have ham on it too i like hawaiian pizza yep pineapples and ham david says says <laughs> no <laughs> yes most definitely <laughs> is any uh, any updates on Big Dog? Um, Freddie's asking. Uh, the last time I talked to Big Dog was about a week and a half ago, and everything was going great. Uh, he's still waiting here on this uh, research that's being done. That is um, his 
cousin, um, his cousin went to work for a company that does research and researching certain things. And uh, he's in the medical field and found that there's a place doing um, research on the incurable cancer that he has. And uh, they're doing a trial and he's trying to get him into the trial. The last I heard, that's, that's as much as I know right now, uh, Freddie, but thanks a lot for asking. He was on the live last, last week. I think he made the live. Uh, sometimes it's hard for him to make our Sunday night lives. Let's see. Pineapple and Spam pizza. Hey, there you go. Yes, pineapple, ham, and bacon. Ooh, that sounds good. I love bacon. Uh, boy, I tell you, if I uh, go camp, I'm going to spray myself all over, right? I uh, just remember uh, what would happen to Jean Jean the Dancing Machine. Oh, I remember that. Jean Jean the Dancing Machine. What was that on? It was on something. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Dick's Cup, if you want to focus on treating your camp clothes and gear with permethrin and yourself with, with Picardin. Okay. Uh, Connolly, how are you doing? Connolly Outdoors says, uh, Tony, um, are your... Are most of your camps wild or do you like to camp in state parks? So wild. So some of my stealth camps like next to highways or things like that. Sometimes it's on the edge of state state parks. Sometimes it's just inside of a state park. So when I do my stealth camps, uh, even wild camps. Uh, we'll be in some state parks and stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh, the gong show. Yes, I remember the gong show. Man, we're going way back, brother. Yeah. Gong. And so maybe I could do and, and I'm sure I have a big gong. Big Big, big gongs. Every time I tried to sing or dance or different like that, <laughs> I remember the gong show. That was so funny as a kid. Uh, Chuck Barras would always change his hats too. Ah. Show. Love that show, yeah. I have my one light is reflecting on the screen. There we go. All right. So, anybody else got any questions? Uh, like I said, I think uh, I'm pretty good with anything that I wanted to talk about. I think I've talked about. Oh, I did give. Um, I did give pork roll uh, a couple of the coffees to try because he loves coffee too. Um, so I, I, while we were down there, he didn't get a chance to to drink any of it, but that was the Swift coffees. Um, and there's a link in all the descriptions of the videos for that Swift coffee. And that's the coffee that I drank out on that camp, um, the Swift coffee, which was really, really good. Um, that was the dark Twilight is the one that I had. And I remember, um, good night, Daniel. Hammock Mountains uh, got some of the uh, the Swift coffee. And when I was down at the uh, hang, uh, the hang down there this weekend um, at Maha, I don't believe I was too far away from where it's manufactured, where they make it. So that's a land case cat. Ca Lancaster Company, uh, but we were below Lancaster. I didn't realize how big Lancaster is. The downtown Lancaster, I drive through on 501. Beautiful downtown. It, look, I thought I was in a city. <laughs> yeah. A lot of artsy stuff, a lot of shops. Really beautiful downtown. I don't know what it would be like to go there and visit. Uh, but it looks looks very nice. Had the mainstay blend, yes, on my camp last night. That is so cool. 
Yeah, Hammock Mountain, are you enjoying it? Because um, I had one the other day that I only used the two ounces of water and made an espresso. Ah, Stitch, I said it. <laughs> espresso instead of espresso. I didn't, I didn't, I never know <laughs> that's how you pronounce it. I was always pronouncing it espresso. It's espresso. Yeah, now that I know, <laughs> Ren Devers. <laughs> rendezvous yeah good stuff yeah 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 good 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 uh time to give uh, ladybug her medicine so good night all uh i gotta share with you guys the story of the ladybug so the lady the ladybug's back old and crackadated um i remember you said um it was back this he told me about this ladybug about six months ago and i was like oh and he then he was telling me and he was serious and i thought he was just joking around but um what did you call her buggy yeah name her buggy and uh really great neat story <laughs> tyler obviously <laughs> would i ever link up with steve wallace for a stealth camp i definitely would uh, i don't know if he'd link up with me but <laughs> i'd link up with him <laughs> absolutely no nah, i love steve yep camping with steve steve wallace St that's right stinky <laughs> yeah stink stinky bug stinky yeah the stink bug right yeah and i told alpine warrior about it that's right so it's now it's a there's a ladybug um so not sure but st st stink bug i laughed so hard when you were telling me that and then you said it was all not a made-up story it was true and i felt so bad about um stinky because i even joked around i said oh what did you call it Stinky, you know, yeah, <laughs> that was great, and uh, and I know um, when you were telling me that, I just believe that that was uh, very comforting, especially with all that had gone on. Um, definitely. Hey, Distilling Adventures, how are you doing? Hi, all, and <laughs> it's getting ready to be good night, all. <laughs> oh yeah, we're sixteen minutes over two hours alrighty alrighty so we are gonna get going i want to say thanks a lot everyone for stopping in uh and i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here or not video it's a live but it's gonna be a video as soon as we end it because you can always go back and watch our previous lives if you ever miss it and if you ever want to know what our live distilling adventures thank you so much oh for the super chat <laughs> thank you so much all right good yeah oh thank you so much good night everyone jr is live saying good night so everybody's going to start saying good night to everyone but if you ever want to go back good night mary good night johnny good night chuck yeah and if you ever want to go back and um watch one of the lives if you go to whatever video happened that week earlier in that week there's we always discuss the um video that following sunday and i want to say thanks a lot everyone for just being such a support um and such a great community i can't say it enough um and you guys have just really helped develop um our 2.0 community and um i love seeing all of y'all talk to one another and look forward to getting together and uh i'm not sure if anybody's still on here from uh, our weekend uh, at maha but i want to thank all the new people that became subscribers this week and also that are on here tonight saying hi and i know a lot of people got to get to bed because they got to get up and go to work uh tomorrow all right well, good night. Love all of y'all. And thank you all so much for being a part of the 2.0 family. Uh, you bring me so much joy. And I really appreciate how y'all talk to one another and pray for one another and uh, are really uh, thoughtful and concerned uh, for the well-being of one another. 
All right. Well, <laughs> still I've figured out how to do cue music. Yeah. Oh, do I try? No, we're just gonna say goodnight. I gotta remember to do that so I can go. All right. Cue the music. Ah, oh, there it is. Not really. It's not. It's, you don't hear it right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone. Good night. Love you all. Having an awesome, amazing week. And don't forget, go on to the channel and click on Thursday night's video so you're reminded about it. That's going to be our Maha, the Mid-Atlantic Hammock Hangers weekend. And I think you're going to be um, just really impressed uh, with all that went on. And hey, if you hadn't ever thought about going to one, you got to get to one. All right. God bless everyone. Good night. Have a safe and blessed week. And we will see you on the next Random Adventures Live. <laughs> All right. Good night. <laughs> Take care, everyone. And if you want to reach out by email, and if you got my number, text me. <laughs> see ya. Good night. Love you all. Take care. God bless.